Hello, sports fans, and particularly White Sox fans out there. I have some more White Sox news for you. Big news, as a matter of fact, but we're going to get to that near the end of the video, one of the last items, so that you watch the video. Uh, but... Uh, the first thing I want to say is that we uh, have again lost Yolmer Sanchez. He has signed with the Baltimore Orioles. And again, I wish him luck. Loved Yolmer Sanchez. Great defensive player. Great defensive infielder. Not much with the bat. And uh, I hope he gets a lot of playing time in Baltimore. He would not have gotten a lot of playing time with the White Sox, so probably a good move for him, and I wish him luck. Uh, the White Sox did not pick up the options for Encarnacion or Gio Gonzalez, which is really not surprising. Um, Encarnacion only hit like 158 for us this year, and he was mainly, I, I see him mainly as he was a bridge player you know, a bridge to um, possibly Andrew Vaughn. And so we'll see if Andrew Vaughn is actually on the roster next year. I expect that that's possible. We have seen him last year. So because of the uh, whole, you know, thing that's going around, the whole season was just wacky and different and a lot of different players who probably would have been in the minors last year the entire year actually got to get a little time with the big club and Andrew Vaughn was no exception and I expect to see him possibly on the White Sox roster next year and then of course Gio not having his option picked up he had a 486 earned run average he wasn't the same Gio even uh, back to when he was you know on Milwaukee more most recently before coming over to the White Sox. So, um, and I expect Michael Kopech to not sit out next year and to be back on the White Sox roster and pitching and so he can take the place of Geo uh, in, that, uh, in that capacity. And now some signing rumors that I've heard I haven't seen them verified yet as of this taping, but they might be. Uh, the White Sox may actually pull them off, but hey, these are things that are like maybe brewing and uh, they're in the, uh, in the consideration stage. And one of them is that they're trying to sign James Paxton. So that would be something too. That would give us some more starting pitching depth um, and maybe even guard you know, against um, Kopech not decide or deciding not to come back next year, because we don't know how the situation is going to play out with the whole uh, virus thing. So, uh, you know, it may be almost as bad next year. We don't know. We certainly hope not. But you know, just to guard against um, the unknown. Yeah, go ahead, sign Paxton. Um, plus, we did have some injuries in the pitching staff that were uh, that cost us a little bit down the stretch and uh, and during the season. So um, we'll see. They are also trying to re-sign Kalame, which would be great. He was very good, good closer, pitched excellently for us. I'd love to see him back. And now for the big news: the White Sox have apparently agreed to a four-year, $100 million contract with outfielder George Springer. You like that? You like that? So yeah, I'm, we didn't get the cheating manager, but we did get one of the cheating outfielders. So hey, you know, I mean, I had to throw that out there, right? But George Springer, quality player, great guy. I'm not sure how we would use him, maybe in right field, but then, you know, I don't know, you know, we'll have to see, um, because uh, then what do you do with Nomar Mazzara? Because then there would be probably no room for him if Vaughn was the DH. He would be basically the fourth outfielder, you know. 
Um, and we also did, I, I, um, I forgot to mention, we did exercise the $3.5 million club option on Lurie Garcia, which is good. He is a, uh, he's a good scrappy player, can play a lot of positions, he can play the outfield, play the infield. We got George Springer coming uh, to the team. We, uh, I mean, things are looking up. Things are looking, really looking up. Uh, you know, if Tony La Russa can, you know, stay awake for the entire season, we might just have something. So, yeah, that's my great news. What do you guys think? You like the Springer signing? I mean, I certainly do. Um, he's um, definitely an upgrade over Mazzara. And, um... And, and also gives us more depth out there in the outfield, which we could definitely use. Uh, probably knocks Engel down to like a defensive outfielder type guy, but, you know, uh, we'll see. But he's a quality player, too. I mean, this team is built, and the White Sox are not playing around. They are serious about 2021, and we'll see just how it works out. But I certainly like how it's looking right now. So let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hey, subscribe. It's free. I don't have commercials. You can watch the entire video and not be interrupted by anything. And, uh, you know, and I got a lot of good content. I've got NFL picks every week that I do. I've got uh, Stratomatic baseball games and Stratomatic uh, computer uh, football. I do a replay of the Super Bowl every week on Sunday. Lots of good content. So, hey, it's I think it's worth subscribing. It's worth zero dollars. So, hey, go ahead and do it. But that's it for me. Sport